They said it was impossible. China spent $50 billion building a wall. Not a wall of stone, a wall of radar. A network so dense, so advanced, that American admirals whispered a terrifying truth behind closed doors. We can't get through. They believed the era of American air superiority was over. Then, the US Air Force unveiled something that shouldn't exist. It wasn't just a new bomber, it was a paradox. It was more advanced than anything in the sky, yet it cost a fraction of its predecessor. It was mass producible, yet invisible. And just like that, China's $50 billion wall became a $50 billion waste of money. This isn't just a story about a plane. It's the story of how American engineers broke the laws of physics and economics to build a ghost. Let me explain. To understand the miracle of the B-21, you have to understand the failure that came before it. The B-2 Spirit. Visually, it's a masterpiece. When it first flew in 1989, it looked like an alien spacecraft. It proved that stealth worked. It proved we could vanish from radar. But it had a fatal flaw. A flaw so deep it nearly destroyed the program. It was too precious to use. Congress slashed the order from 132 planes down to just 21. Why? Because the cost spiraled to $2.2 billion per plane. That is the GDP of a small country for one aircraft. But the price tag wasn't the real nightmare. The nightmare was the fragility. For every hour the B-2 flew, it needed nearly 100 hours of maintenance. Its stealth skin was like delicate porcelain. A heavy rainstorm could ruin it. If it got wet, it had to sit in a climate-controlled hangar for days while guys in hazmat suits reapplied radar-absorbing tape by hand. It was a Ferrari that you could only drive on sunny Sundays. During the Iraq War, pilots were frustrated. They were sitting on the ground, waiting for glue to dry while the war went on without them. The internal struggle for the US military was painful. We have the ultimate weapon, but we can't afford to lose a single one. China saw this hesitation. They saw our weakness, and they decided to exploit it. While we were babying our 21 bombers, China was building a fortress. They knew they didn't need to match our technology. They just needed to make the sky so dangerous that we wouldn't dare risk a $2 billion plane. So they built the A2AD network, anti-access, area denial. They dredged sand from the bottom of the South China Sea and built artificial islands. They turned reefs into runways. They installed missile batteries capable of hitting an aircraft carrier 4,000 kilometers away. But the scariest part? The radar. China invested billions into VHF and UHF radars, low frequency waves. Here is why that matters. The B-2 Spirit was designed to hide from high frequency radar. But against low frequency waves, physics says the B-2 should light up. By 2018, Beijing was confident. Their generals went on state TV and practically bragged. They said American stealth was obsolete. They said they could see us coming. And deep down, American strategists feared they were right. The US was paralyzed. We needed a plane that could penetrate this new network, but we couldn't afford another $2 billion disaster. We needed a miracle. So Northrop Grumman did something that had never been done before. They stopped building planes and started building data. This is the secret sauce. This is how they broke the curse of the B-2. Northrop Grumman didn't just design the B-21 Raider. They birthed it inside a computer first. They created a digital twin. This wasn't just a 3D model. It was a physics-perfect replica of the bomber that existed entirely in virtual reality. On the old B-2 program, they would build a part, try to fit it, realize it was wrong, and spend weeks redesigning it. That's why it cost billions. On the B-21, they tested every bolt, every wire, and every sensor in the digital world before they ever cut a single piece of metal. The result? On a typical aircraft program, you expect a 20% error rate in the first build. On the B-21, less than 1%. They didn't just model the plane, they modeled the factory. Technicians walked through the assembly line in VR goggles to make sure they could reach every screw. They solved the maintenance nightmare before the plane even existed. They built an open architecture brain. Think of the B-2 as a flip phone, hardwired and frozen in 1990. 
The B21 is an iPhone. If a new threat appears tomorrow, developers push a software update, and the plane learns how to defeat it. China is building hardware. America is building software that flies. Now, let's talk money. Because this is where the story gets unbelievable. Usually when the military buys a new toy, the price doubles. It's almost a rule of nature. The B-21 broke that rule. The price is locked in. $692 million. That sounds like a lot, until you remember the B-2 cost $2.2 billion. We are getting a plane that is generations ahead, for one-third the price. Northrop Grumman was so confident in their digital twin that they signed a fixed-price contract. If they go over budget, they pay the difference, not the taxpayer. That is unheard of in the defense industry. It means the Air Force can actually afford to buy them, not 21 of them. They are planning for at least 100, maybe 200. This changes the math. If you have 21 bombers, you are cautious. If you have 200, you are a swarm. But does it work? Can it actually beat China's $50 billion radar wall? Remember those low-frequency radars? The ones China built specifically to hunt stealth bombers? The B-21 was designed to eat them for breakfast. The shape, the materials, the coating, it isn't just optimized for one type of radar. It is broadband stealth. It absorbs everything. High frequency, low frequency, it doesn't matter. When a Chinese radar wave hits the B-21, it doesn't bounce back. It gets trapped. It scatters. It vanishes. To a radar operator in Beijing, the sky looks empty. If the B-2 looked like a bird on radar, the B-21 looks like a mosquito. Actually, it looks like nothing. China's strategy relied on seeing us. They built their entire defense on that assumption. The B-21 renders their entire strategy null and void. It doesn't need to blow up the wall. It just walks right through it. But the pilot isn't the only thing inside the cockpit. Actually, sometimes there is no pilot at all. The B-21 is the world's first optionally manned bomber. If a mission is too dangerous, if it requires flying into the absolute heart of the enemy network, the pilot can stay home. The plane flies itself, and it doesn't fly alone. It acts as a quarterback, controlling swarms of drone wingmen. It spots targets, and the drones take the shot. It is a flying data center, a battle manager, a ghost. Todd Harrison, a defense analyst, put it perfectly. It makes every enemy defense plan obsolete the moment it enters their airspace. So what is the moral of this story? China spent decades and $50 billion trying to lock us out. They thought they had checkmated American air power. But they made a classic mistake. They prepared for the last war. They built a wall to stop a B-2. So we built something that doesn't play by those rules. The B-21 Raider proves that American innovation isn't dead. It proves that we can build things faster, cheaper, and smarter than our rivals. The $50 billion wall, it's still there. But now, it doesn't matter. Because real deterrence isn't about how big your wall is. It's about the ghost that can walk right through it. If you want to know what happens when China tries to catch up to this, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.